Okay, finally, this one's for you. Okay, this is you ask a question. It's going to be four cards that I'm going to lay out. There'll be one, two, three, four, uh, yes, no, or maybe cards. So you can ask a question or several questions that would require yes, no, or maybe answers. But then, after I reveal that, I'm going to do a diet across on all of them. So I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It's It helped me. I really want you to. But in any event, thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So here it comes. It's going to be four cards. You ask a question. Get your question right in the front of your mind. Throw it out into the universe. Universe into the universe, and uh, and hopefully it'll come back and land in these cards, and you'll get some some guidance from that. I hope that's what happens. So do this. I mean, put some effort into it. Get your question into the front of your mind. If you need to stop this tape right now, do it and just sit and think about what it is you want to ask these cards. It can be several questions if you like. Then once you have that set. Then just kind of say to yourself, let me put that out into the universe. It's out there already, but a little extra push never hurts. And then hopefully we'll pick it up on this side. Take a deep breath, get yourself something to drink, relax, settle in, enjoy this few little minutes that we have together, okay? So this is the Aquarian Tarot by David Palladini. This is published by US Game Systems. And I really love these cards, and they've got an interesting story behind them too. And there's a follow up deck. Um, that I sometimes use uh, together with these. But uh, so they come in a, a typical, uh, just a little cardboard card box. It's fine. Um, the artist is David Palladini, who was born in Italy, but raised in the United States in Highland Park, Illinois. So that's a little bit interesting once you get to know the cards. And uh, the instruction book that comes with them is just a run of the mill. Uh, this card means this and that card means that kind of thing. Really nothing all very meaningful in here. And it's kind of printed really small. So there's all of that. The interesting thing about these cards is uh, what happened. David Palladini was just finishing up um, art school when I forget who it was. Someone approached him about doing uh, tarot cards. Um, and now David Palladini just recently died. This is 2000 and 21 in May, and he may have died three years ago or in that in that time span, so uh, 17, 2017 or something. And then, so then these were done at the beginning of his career, which would have been, put him in his uh, 20s or late 20s, I would imagine. So you can see that these are very nice cards, very soft spirit and very to the point. Uh, they're not hard to uh, interpret. <clears throat> and I lay these out like this so that you can get an idea of what a full deck looks like if you're not a person who buys a lot of cards or or sees a lot of tarot cards. I do because I just like to collect them. I think they're, they're little pieces of art. <clears throat> but uh, this fellow uh, did these right out of art school and then he could never have imagined they would come such an integral, become such an integral part of tarot. And then later in his life he went ahead and, um, and did an updated uh, deck. But these are the Aquarian Tarot by David Palladini, and uh, they're really great. I love them. Okay, this one's for you. Okay, so get your questions ready. And uh, there'll be four yes, nor maybe cards. Let me do this again. Be four yes, nor maybe cards, but we're gonna take a minute for meditation. Okay. So these cards are for you. Get your uh, questions really to the front of your mind. Get them solidly set there and then push them out into the universe. Okay? Sounds funny, I guess, but that's uh, the best way I can describe what will be the best thing for you to do. Um, you should take a moment to relax. If you need to stop this tape and get you yourself some sort of a beverage or get yourself situated, that's the best thing you can do right now. So oh, that's not good. So this is going to be four cards. 
Okay, it's just going to have to be like that. One, two, three, four. It's very interesting for the cards to react that way. So I'm going to put these out. One, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Pick your card. One, two, three, and four. That's the numbers. You can stop the tape. You're in charge. You're in control. This is about you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we'll reveal these now as yes, no, or maybe. And I'm going to find a piece of paper so I can write down uh, what I say here. First card, if you chose number one, King of Pentacles. This is a great card. This is a yes card. And this is telling you that you have the value, all of it. Okay? Make the decision. Yes, you can do this. It's that simple. You chose number two. Oh, this is the Nine of Cups. This is wishes fulfilled. This is the Green Emergent. This is lots of compassion, emotion, and uh, and uh, another yes card. So yeah, so this is the Greedy Merchant. But I want to tell you, it's it's uh, the hope card, the fulfillment of hope. Uh, but uh, you've got to make sure, or you should. Uh, it's probably you, the best advice I give you is to make sure you do it with lots of compassion. Okay, so that's a yes card. Number three is the King of Rods. Again, you're in charge of this plan, this uh, this motion, this forward going. This is another yes card, and uh, this is telling you, yeah, get the plan, own it, okay? You're the one who can make it happen. And if you chose number four, this is the Nine of Rods. Now, the Nine of Rods is very embattled. Uh, the Nine of Rods, this is a no card, and the Nine of Rods is really uh, lots of issues, um, and, uh, you know, this, this is a hard row. So I would say this is a no card um, just because you need to really consider uh, where you're going on the next step. Okay, nine of rods. And I'll turn these over. And this will be the signifier for this first uh, dyadic cross. Okay, first dyadic cross. First dyadic cross for you. What is a further divination for this yes card for you, this value, this king of value, I need five more cards. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. The, I usually don't pull, that's fine. I'm gonna take this, I got, I got out of my head for a minute there. This will work on the uh, energy there. The challenge to this king of, of value here is uh, ah the fool, which is a new journey. But maybe the fool is a good way to say it. You know, you you can be so much so confident in your value that you uh, could do something foolish. This is a new journey, so you need to pay attention to where this is leading you. Even though yes, you can make this decision, but. Pay attention. The base of this with this two of pentacles is keeping everything uh, balanced, okay? Understanding the weight of what you're dealing with and finding a balance between that. Interesting that we got pentacles again. Then the five of swords in the past is uh, almost an abuse of power. Truth, justice, rules, law, an abuse of that. So we came into the having to make this decision because of this issue. The sky of this with the hangman, this tells us right away but you've got to stop and get another perspective before you embark on this journey, okay? You can do it, yes, but be considered about it. And then the uh, final outcome with the Hierophant is understand the rules that are going to govern this decision that you make. So you're in control. Yes, you can do this. Start on the journey. Get a balance. Uh, whatever the, the conflict was, understand that you need to take a beat and get a good perspective on it and then follow the rules of the universe. Good uh uh, rules, okay, uh, just rules, okay, so there we go, so that's number one, that's what you chose, if you chose number two, we're going to divine that out, that was a yes card, and we'll see where that leads us, the signifier being this nine of cups, this uh, wishes fulfilled, very emotional, compassion filled situation, and we're going to take five cards to get us going on this journey, Okay, so one, two, three, four, and five. I'm put these to rest over here and soak up some energy on the last two issues. And then see where we're at. Nine of uh, cups, uh, 
uh, the hope card being fulfilled is the signifier. The challenge of that is this Knight of Cups. So he's fighting for this emotional value. So uh, getting your, your, your wishes fulfilled is challenged by this determination to get those wishes fulfilled. Okay. The basis of this, oh, the Ace of Cups again, is that this is a great big emotional situation. The past of this with the four of rods, rods are plans, uh, forward movement, uh, motion, and uh, this is telling us that this is a smallish celebration onto something bigger off in the distance. But you know, this this is yes. Let's go ahead and do this. In the sky, of this reading with this five of pentacles, there may be some element of feeling left out in the cold, of not being able to access all the value that uh, or any of the value really that is accompanying this. Uh, and that's a good, healthy fear actually to have. And in the past, and the likely outcome of this with the seven of rods is understanding that there's lots of issues to be dealt with. You've got a firm grip on this one uh, defining issue that will help you defeat uh, what these other ones are. So yeah, you can do this. You've uh, got the emotional wherewithal. You've got the stamina to get it done. It's a great big situation of emotional uh, uh, that's being offered up. This is um, the short-term celebration that maybe brought you into this towards something larger. Uh, the, a little bit of skepticism of feeling a little uh, left out is not a bad thing. And uh, just understand that you've got control of the plan to, to guide all these other plans. That's number two. Okay, so if you chose number three, that's a yes card. And we're going to see what the challenge is to this king of rods. So rods are uh, plans, forward movement, and the king is, you know, the top dog, you know. So that's you. This is your game. Yes, you can do this. Five cards. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, he'll work on that energy for the moment. We'll see what the challenge is to this king of, of plans. Ah, judgment. So yeah, when you're in charge, um, you have to realize, and even though you can you can move forward with this, you can say yes, but just be aware of the judgment that may be, be involved. The base of this with this three of rods is long-term planning. Okay, so that's what brought us into this decision is some sort of a step towards something else. Uh, oh, and then the four of rods again with the short-term celebrations, uh, again saying, yeah, understand this is going to move us forward to something down the road. In the sky of this reading, ooh, it's the end of, of this issue. This is going to be done, and we're going to be judged for it, so let's make sure we do this uh, with all the good intention that we can find. And then the likely outcome with this two of swords, let's make a decision. You know, if you've been sitting on this, no, move forward, make a decision, do it, Okay. And there's not much caution here. So uh, King of Wands, yeah, you can do it. Uh, understand you have to face the judgment. Uh, a long-term goal is what brought us to this. Some, also, some sort of a short-term celebration towards something better. This is the end of that. And uh, make that decision. Get moving forward. You can do it. Yes. And the final card, number four, that's what you chose, is a no card. And we're going to see what's going to be the challenge to this Nine of Rods. Nine of Rods. Nine of Rods is feeling embattled, really weary, and uh, and as if perhaps you can't um, go forward, but guess what? You can. So five cards. One, two, three, four, and five. Five cards for this final um, card here. These have done everything that they can for us. These cards do not belong to this reading. Okay, the challenge to this embattlement is the Seven of Cups, which is illusion and delusion. Okay, so it may not be as embattled as you think it is, and you have all the tools that uh, you need to get through this. So even though this is a no card, understand that you've got what you need to, to move forward. The basis of this Page of Pentacles is this is a small offer of value, small offer of worth. It's a suggestion that, yeah, there's value in uh, making this decision, even though it's a no decision. The past to this, with this Five of Pentacles feeling left out in the cold, it's just, um, you know, that's understandable. And that may be why we feel so embattled. Um, the sky of this, with the strength card, understand your strength. You have it. Aim for it. Own it. And then the, the final outcome with the lovers, which is uh, the major arcana, this is finding just the right 
companion, uh, whether it be a person, an idea, the tools, um, whatever it is to companion with you to, to get this uh, moving forward is going to be there. But right now, you need to stop and uh, understand the confusion. Also understand the value. This is valid that you feel left out. You have the strength to make this work for you because in the end, there's going to be the correct pairing uh, down the road for you. So don't be worried that you have to say no. Okay. So hope that was useful for you today. There you go. Okay, so that was the uh, reading for you. I hope it was useful. If it uh, if it didn't seem useful, maybe come back to it later if you had some time to ruminate on it. C consider people that are close to you. There may be something there for them. You might want to come back to it another day. Or if it just doesn't hit home for you, that's fine. It doesn't have to work every single time. Uh, just leave it alone. We got to spend some time together. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So thank you. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.